Mateo is the procedural plant life builder and animator, and it's been updated with some exciting new features. There's new options for scattering plant life on scene objects, an advanced leaf vein builder, and updates to modifiers to create advanced furling effects. The growth point layer in Teo Plant has some massive improvements for the scattering of plant life on scene objects. So here we're able to put our leaf onto our log. Let's change it to multi-instance mode for more efficiency. We can add variation and let's ramp up that point count to a thousand leaves. Now this log has a vertex weight map here. Let's scatter our leaves on this weight. All we need to do is drag in that tag into the selection link field, and there we have the leaves where there's vertex weight. We can of course increase or decrease the object scale of these instances, adding variation to both that and the rotation. And we have some really interesting separation tools. Here we can set the spacing to kill, which will kill any of these instances if they're too close to each other. Or there is the really cool push option, which instead of killing, will push them apart. Let's bring in a new growth point layer, and this time we'll create some mushroom growth. We'll drag in that vertex map again, but now we can add further random distribution by using a shader. We'll use a noise, add a bit of low clip, and if we cycle through these seeds, you'll see we'll get different noises, and so different distributions of our mushrooms. We can also adjust the tolerance slider for different looks. Let's ramp up the point count to say 5,000, and now we have some more randomly distributed mushrooms. As well as Teo objects, you could use primitives and polygon objects. Here we'll put our flower and our platonic in this growth point layer, and there we have them on our log. Let's get rid of that platonic, and there's our final look using the brilliant additions to the growth point layer in Teo plant. Teo Leaf has a brand new layering system to create realistic veins. Here, let's add a mid vein layer, and then we can make some adjustments to things like radius. We have a profile curve to adjust the shape. We can create a petiole offset, and we can even create parallel veins now, should your leaf require them. And all of these veins will sit perfectly on their underlying leaf surface, no matter how much it's modified. Let's just get rid of that vein count for now, go back to one, and we'll show you the new modifier stack per vein. So we can bring in a turbulence to affect this vein and reduce the scale, give it some strength. And then we can add another modifier. This time, let's bring in a bend. We can adjust the bend of that one vein. And then we even have a modifier which we can use just for that petiole extension at the bottom. Let's bring in a furling petiole and you'll see that we can furl just that extended part at the bottom of our leaf. Now we can add some more layers to this. Let's put in a lateral vein and this has four different vein structures. Let's have a look at pinnate first. We can increase the vein count. We can change the profile of those veins with our spline. We can adjust the angle, give it offset variation and also angle variation for different looks. We can also adjust the distribution with our distribution spline. If we move up and have a look at the arcuate mode, very similar but slightly curved tips of those veins. We can now add modifiers to just these lateral veins. Let's add a turbulence to demonstrate. We'll reduce the scale, add a bit of strength, and there we are affecting just the lateral veins. So now they're sorted, we could add another lateral vein layer to those. We need to make a few adjustments here. Let's reduce the length of those. We obviously need to give them a little bit of angle and let's give them always some offset and some variation. Adjust the profile and there we have our third layer of veins. There's also palmate mode giving this nice spread of veins and also dichotomous, giving us this nice branching effect where you can increase the split count. 
We can get rid of all vein intersections in any of the vein structure modes by just clicking one button, remove intersections. And no matter how many levels of veins we have, there'll be no intersecting veins. And finally for Teo Leaf, we've added lots of new presets, a whole leaves library in the Teo preset browser, real world examples of leaves which you can use in your own scenes. Teo flower, leaf and plant all benefit from improvements to the furling modifier. We still have access to angle and bias as we had before, but now there's no longer a need to layer up multiple furlings because we have an angle bias spline. This enables us to adjust the knots to get lots of different furling effects, including reverse furling. Let's change our knots and now we have this S bend. We'll make further adjustments, we'll bring this one down, add one in the middle, and now we've got a really tight S-Bend. We can continue to make as many adjustments as we like, it's almost limitless. Let's have a look at five different examples, again, all created with only one furling modifier. As well as the angle bias spline, Teo Flower has an additional bit of furling functionality. We are now able to affect individual layers of petals using the layer bias spline. This means we can easily animate these unfurling of multi-petal flowers quickly and easily. Teo is an artist-focused procedural builder and animator of plant life. It's being updated with advanced scattering tools, improved modifiers for easier or more precise animation, and an enhanced content browser with production-ready assets. And it's all coming soon to Insidium Fused.